In the realm of shipping, tank containers play a pivotal role, especially when it comes to transporting dangerous goods. But with great utility comes great responsibility. So, what exactly are the responsibilities of shippers while using these portable tanks? Let's start with an essential step, training. It's crucial that personnel involved in classification, selection of the tank, filling, marking, placarding, and preparing dangerous goods note are well versed in the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code, or IMDG code. Not only should this training encompass the basics, it should also cover aspects of transport security and apply to both shippers' own container tanks and providers' tanks. Now let's delve into the specifics of these responsibilities. First and foremost, dangerous goods need to be classified correctly. An appropriate tank must be selected for the task. The validity of the test certificates provided by the tank operator must be verified before filling the tank. If there are any special instructions related to tank preparation, heating, or nitrogen blanketing, they must be communicated well in advance with all relevant stakeholders. It's of utmost importance to ensure that the substance to be transported is compatible with the materials of the shell, gaskets, service equipment, and any protective linings, and will not react dangerously with them. When it comes to filling the tank, there are rules to be followed. The tank must not be filled beyond the maximum degree of filling, which varies based on the nature of the substance being transported. Moreover, all applicable tank provisions must be met. The tanks must be marked and placarded correctly. A dangerous goods declaration and any additional documents should be handed over to the carrier. There are also circumstances when tanks must not be offered for transport, such as when the substance has a certain viscosity, when there's residue of substances previously transported adhering to the outside of the shell, or when the tank is leaking or damaged to such an extent that it may compromise the integrity of the portable tank or its lifting or securing arrangements. This, however, is not an exhaustive list of responsibilities. To ensure safety, efficiency, and compliance, shippers must refer to the IMDG code and other national or regional regulations and adhere to the applicable provisions of the same. Remember, when it comes to shipping, knowledge is power and responsibility is key. Happy shipping!